Okay, hi everyone. I hope all is well. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make my low carb beef fried rice. Um, I used to eat low carb all the time and I lost a ton of weight. <clears throat> excuse me, and I do still have a cold, so if you hear me coughing, please excuse me on this video. Um, but most of you know I have a cold or had a cold, was suffering from a cold, and I, I still have a cough, um, even though I'm feeling better. But back to what I was saying. Um, I was eating low carb all the time. Even though I was fix fixing my family, you know, normal meals, um, I had really cut back on carbs down to maybe 25 to 30 carbs per day. And I lost quite a bit of weight. So I'm back on my low carb diet. So I'm gonna demonstrate my low carb beet fry rice. So the first thing that you wanna do is, you wanna get you a head of cauliflower. And you can either put it in a processor or you can cut it up. But basically you wanna get it cut small like a rice, you know, get it down to like a rice. You can put it in the blender as well, but you don't, you don't want to overdo it. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and beat you an egg or two, depending on how many people you're cooking for, and go ahead and scramble it and set your egg to the side. Now you can also put your egg in the skillet during the time while you're cooking your rice, but that is up to you. And I mean, when I say rice, I mean your cauliflower. Um, the same method goes for my regular fried rice, which I will demonstrate as well um, in another video. And the ingredients that you need are very simple. I've already mentioned the cauliflower, your egg, your meat of choice. I did a um, crock pot, beef crock pot. So um, while I cook my beef in the crock pot today, slow cooked it so that I can have that ready. So I already chopped that up. I have a few uh, frozen peas and carrots that I'm gonna put into my rice. I have a couple of fresh bean sprouts here. And then just a couple of um, green onions, scallions the white and the green separated. As far as what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little bit of Gravy Master. I do not usually use this for my rice, but my um, other mix is out, my browning sauce is out. I use a little bit of Perfect Fried Rice. It's something you can find at your local grocery store. It's very flavorful um, and it, you know, tastes pretty good. I'm gonna use a little bit of oyster sauce. And that is it, I don't need any more ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little olive oil. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, or sesame oil. That's up to you. My stove is still a little hot because I just finished uh, scrambling my eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my scallions because I know it's still hot, yeah. As you can tell, and this is something quick and easy that you can do. And the fry, like I said, with the regular rice, it takes just the same amount of time. It's very quick and easy. All right, now that I've added my scallions, I'm gonna go ahead and add my peas and carrots. And these are just some frozen peas and carrots. I don't um, like a whole lot, so I just took a few out the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and add my bean sprouts. Now, if you like your bean sprouts kind of crunchy, you don't wanna add those yet. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cauliflower. Now, you can uh, pick and choose whichever type of vegetables that you would like to add um, to your rice. If you don't want the peas and carrots or bean sprouts, you, know, you can do onion, bell pepper, whichever you choose. Your vegetables, that's up to you. And you just wanna to toss it around. Now you wanna to toss this around for just a little bit. Let your um, cauliflower get a little crispy. So you wanna to toss it until that point. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of my seasoning. While that's cooking there, I'm gonna add a little bit of my fried rice. Not much. And this is all optional. You really don't have to add any of these ingredients if you don't want the seasonings, I mean. You can add whichever ones you like. I would just like a little brownish color as well as the flavor. 
of the fried rice in mine. And once you get it browned all the way through, we're gonna go ahead and add our egg. Now keep in mind that eating low carb, as far as budget wise, um, you really won't have to do that much different to, to eat low carb and and um, you know you'll still be able to eat on the budget is what I'm trying to say. There are some things that cost a little more, but you don't have to you know, eat that way. But even though cauliflower, I think it was like $3 for a head of cauliflower, but it goes a long way. So that's the benefit to that. And literally, in less than five minutes, you have your low carb fried rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. I'll turn it off. And I wanna thank you for watching this video. I'm, I am gonna post one for my, um, and I'm trying to see if you can see that consistency. So it's not gummy. You know, it's kind of that of rice, like a brown rice almost. I'm going to go ahead and taste a little bit while I have you all here. If you don't mind, I'm sorry I didn't have my dishes out. So. I like that. Now the only thing what you want to do is and I'm sorry I left that out whatever meat you're going to add I'm so sorry you're going to add that at the end and that's why I didn't add it yet. My meats are already cooked all the time so depending on since this beef was already it's already hot it's already seasoned it's already cooked that's why I didn't add it yet. So if your meat is already cooked and ready to go, then you can add that at the end. If your meat is cold out of the refrigerator, which I have an example for that next, and I'll show you what I mean. You'll wanna put your meat in the skillet first when you're doing your, um, your onions. So when I added those scallions, I would have then added the, um, the meat, you know, if it's cold, but it should be cooked already. You know, unless you just want to cook your meat at the beginning of your, you know, your rice. All right. But again, if it's already hot and ready to go, you can add your meat at the end. Or if it, even if it's room temperature, because you don't need for it to be, you know, piping hot. Once it's, if it's room temperature, you can toss it in at the end. All right. And there you have it, you guys. That's going to be my dinner. I'm excited. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a great day.